feel like I do miss the wood heel, though. I miss the wood. Keep but. that elbow pointing to the outside and just that nice angle as it goes behind you. So just grab that from your forearm, not from your shoulder. Don't back sharply short. A couple things. Number one is that smaller passageways. In. These are small, pretty continuous breathing. So without any weight right now, we're just going to and switch hands. The beginning of the snatch starts here, and you end up pushing. You see what I mean? A little bit with your elbow. The other way to do it is pull back. Some people have stronger arms. They like just bend from the center of the bell. It's a floating switch. That's how I do it. It's behind you as it comes down. And then you need to release that grip here, have that light touch, that floating effect. So, okay, you don't need that. Yeah, if you have a 45. Now, if you have it thumbs completely back, it's not going to be way up here. <laughs> Your thumb is going to be up. And then as you push the handle through, you keep that 45 degree angle. So it's going to be right about eye level. And then you're going to push that handle around, and the kettlebell is going to sneak around the outside for your grip. This is the way I do it, yeah. And then once it gets to your eye level, on the next front of that eye, Stuck with your arm out here, or you're going to have to pull it back in. Using not good for good snatch technique. When I win ugly contests, that's the way you do it. <laughs> but have that come up. Bell snatch is a pretty weird thing at all. Not here, flat. You go to the top. Where the angle is up, and it's in front of your eye. Okay. So make then snap. Now you get to the eye before you do it. So go to the eye. Two more to eye level. And go all the way up. Eye level is vertical, or maybe up slightly. And it's going to land in your hands. And your arm is bent a little bit. And then it's right on your knee. Obviously, you'll start to pull it in. But why have it generate all this force and then have to down toward that eye? So it's locked down a little bit. You can bend your elbow a little bit and lean back. Use your back, since your arm is away from your body, your back is going to take this whole load here, right? Could I hold on to it here? The bell, absorb it with your whole body. You have to absorb it with your legs, with your torso. How strong are you right yeah. there? Yeah, when I flick it, it's just going to so be free flick flow. So when you flick it to here, yes. Okay. 